This is a packed episode. If you followed C10 Slayer, this is a full tandem axle, 1965 C10. And uh, we have so much to do. Pops, what do you got going on here? Oh, I'm just painting the old PWR oil cooler, trans cooler, and then this freaking badass fan. Look at this radiator. We get all thin those are. Yeah, that's all a new small fan. Jeez. Look at that. So we have so much to do. We have to mount all the PWR radiators, wire harnesses for days. I mean, look at the connectors that the spall comes with. It's a lot of work. We got wiring. Uh, my dad's been doing a lot of painting here. He's got the rear end housing. Look at how nice that looks. It's all painted. Um, intercooler, all the suspension. Eric, he's over there welding a fuel cell that we designed in the computer with my buddy Matt. Let me actually cut to that scene real quick. So I'm at Matt's. This is the design phase of the fuel cell. He's already got the majority all drawn up. Are you able to rotate that? So that's what it's gonna look like. So right now, um, we're just gonna take these files. I'm gonna go get them cut and uh, let's see what we come up with. So that's what that is right there. It came in pieces and uh, it's, it's all being welded together. And Austin already painted this black. So I think the base color to the truck is gonna be flat black. We don't know if we're going with the design yet or what we're doing. Uh, body work is still, there's a lot to do. Uh, but we're, we're just kinda, you know, getting as many, many things as we can. And the biggest thing we're waiting on is the wide body from Advanced Fiberglass Concepts. It's gonna sit on these fenders, front, rear. We have some special stuff in the front of the truck on the rear there's just a lot so let's get this thing going this is going to be a fast upbeat episode and uh, let's have some fun So we're in the process of loading up all the parts to go to Powder Coat. Just a small world. You guys probably uh, know who Rusty Wallace is and Steve Wallace. Uh, that's who's actually powder coating all this is Steve. So we're gonna cruise over his shop, give him everything we got, check out some powder coat colors and uh, just kind of see what it's gonna look like. We do have some stuff over there already that he shot. So I can't wait to see that when we get there. But let's load this up and uh, let's go get some stuff powder coated. Let's go see what Steve-O's got done. That looks like good. candy. Been here till midnight getting the shit right. Are you serious? Yep. That's sweet, right? Look at how good those Holy look, dude. Holy sheep looks shit. Looks like anodizing. And that's powder. Oh, wow. see how it looks over polish? Holy. Oh, <laughs> <Isn't> that <laughs> cool? Yeah. Set that right there on that. Yeah. Man. That looks good, man. It went better. Oh, better yeah. That. That's good shit. Wow. Yeah. Man, that is bright. Frisky. Yeah, that's so right. Right. Yeah. That stuff pretty hard to shoot or no? It's, it's, it's challenging. An it's an art. Really? It's an art. It's not. It's With not the like, translucent you don't stuff? Just, you don't just shoot it. It's not just powder. Yeah. Color samples here. That's right. I don't know if I have it, but this is all stuff that we've shot before. So that's what's awesome about uh, living right here is everyone is so close kind of cool episode because you guys are getting to see everything uh, away from the shop. Now we're going in modern racing to check on the wire harness. So let's go see what it looks like. This is Mitch the man. This guy's working all kinds of different stuff. That truck's sick right there. So Mitch is making the whole wire harness. Yeah, so like right now on this computer right here, your main chassis harness, it's all pinned out. I'm just going through like kind of just checking everything right now. This is your engine harness right here. Well, one side of it that's being built right now. Nice. There, Long story short, what you just said is he's a lot smarter than us. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, how do you know where all that goes? Example, this is that Skosh uh, box that you have right here. 
do that and I'll tell you the color, the gauge, the function, all that stuff. Here, here's another example. Okay, this plugs into the computer. That looks like hair. Those, those are all, those are all pin connectors. Yeah, those are, and that's what he's got. His schematic is gonna yeah, go so into yeah, each so one of those in the computer. Those two connectors right there are, are these right here. It's got all your, you know, vehicle speeds and your intake air temps and every, everything's mapped out right there and tells exactly where everything goes. That's where he's at right now. So when he's all done, he'll bring it to the shop and then uh, we'll lay it in the truck and see how it goes. But yeah, this is the correct way to build the race car right here. Yeah. Dude, look at how sick that is on there. Those look really good. Like really good. Wow, wow, wow. Is that cool looking or what? That's pretty sick. They're so bright from right here. They look so good. How exciting is that? I freaking really excited. I told you guys before I even started this, it's just, I don't even know what to title this video because it's just full of a lot of stuff. Once my dad gets uh, the sexy stacks on, we'll be able to uh, put in the PWR radiator and see what that all looks like for the first time. But man, we are making huge, huge, huge progress. All right, I'll be honest, I, I wanted to see the handbrake red on too. Uh, Let me take off our mock-up and throw this on and show you guys what this looks like in the truck for the first time. The funny is, for those that actually really know me, we've never done anything red. So this is like, to have red on this truck is a big, big change for us. Oh, that looks so crazy. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. When everything's black in here, it's gonna stand out. I'm glad we went over polish. Look at that thing, it looks like a piece of candy. We got a few more things going red, but we don't wanna uh, do too many things red. We just wanna accent just a few little things. But wow, I am uh, super stoked on that. Dang, son. Look around that He's got this bad boy looking good. Good job, dude. Thank you, sir. Oh yeah, man. Hey, I was gonna show you something. We'll now be able to just throw this thing in the truck. I'll build some mounts to hold it. And then the fuel cell situation is done. We have all of our air motive, a pump and everything to go in here. I'll show you guys what that looks like. But man, this is uh, definitely awesome, awesome, awesome. It's all day long, crunch time, putting the truck together and getting it ready for body work and paint. And at night, we're doing paint. So what our days are like, 14 hour days right now? More than that. Yeah, so we got a whole crew coming, uh, which is very nice of them to come after their normal job to help us. So what he's doing is he's uh, put, we're put, we're covering up the transmission. We'll have to cover the hood and, or the motor and everything. And uh, Austin and Josh, they're on their way over uh, to body work it now. So it's kind of how it's been, it's just been, straight hustle every day and then bring it next door uh we just been putting it in this other bay over here and then body work so uh we've been going back and forth but really again th this it, th we're so we're so pushed at time and we're doing so many things that i i don't even honestly know uh what to even call this episode but just i guess the the hustle of uh doing a, a crazy truck it's coming down to the last wire um, after it comes this way, after they're all done body work, and we'll come back, throw all the PWR radiators in, and uh, throw a bunch more stuff in there. But you could just see, <laughs> the dead, the red just stands off so much. I love I, it. I that finish it. I don't even... God. I love it. This is... I keep saying it's always my favorite vehicle when we're done, but this is my favorite. Favorite vehicle. I think just the motor. I'd like to have the motor in my house with a glass table on the top. I know. All right, awesome. Full rundown. Be going body work in the truck. <laughs> where, where, where's the tr where is the truck right now? And how many days do you think we got? Um, it's pretty close as far as getting roughed in. We still got a few things to tune up on it. Um, hope to have it in primer on Friday. That'd be the goal. But he, he's gone through, done all the body lines. What are you guys going to work on today? Um, this drip rail is kind of a little uneven, so Josh is going to true it up. Um, I'm going to sand the dash, get it ready, and we'll roll over and get this thing in primer on Friday. So the goal is to have this primered Friday. Um, 
There's still so much to be done. Fire, the firewall still got some work. The paint's gonna take the take the longest because we're gonna have to take out the fenders and there's still so much to do. But we'll get it. the last step of the truck this is literally the last thing we have to mount is the radiator and then we could uh, we're gonna set it in the truck make sure everything fits and then it's only gonna be in there for a few minutes we're pulling it out gutting the whole truck and then it's going out for paint I hope I hope the CAD files that, that were sent over are perfect to the radiator because this is the last step Literally before this thing goes to paint, so yeah, I could get this in. Cross our fingers. I'm sure it is. These guys know exactly what they're doing. My side fits. Oh my gosh, that is. Is yours right on? Yeah, it's in. It's in a little rubber crate on the bottom. So we got a little rubber crate on the bottom, and then, yeah. Oh. Look. We, we drilled a hole for that right there. Look and it's gonna bolt right up. Here's, look at that, look here's at just, the fans on that thing. Throw that in there just for now. Yeah, this will be our pilot hole. <laughs> Seriously, when we're in this much of a time crunch and this high end of a build, and you work with a company like PWR, off a drawing. I mean, look, it fit like a glove. Look at, look at the small fans on that thing. Nice Man, and that, flat. That is kind of close, though. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that right. is so friggin' exciting. So that's just gonna get all the air going through. We have an intercooler that sits in there. But hey, at this point, uh, everything is done that we need to have done, and now we're uh, we're literally relying on on Austin and Josh and Michael and and. Um, we're going to take this thing over to the paint booth. My dad and I, we're probably going to try and attack the inside and paint it ourselves. But at this point, next time you guys see this, hopefully, hopefully it looks completely different. Uh, this has been so much work. My dad's pretty stoked. I'm stoked. PWR, thank you guys seriously for making that so easy for us. That literally us. made the front of that truck. I know. You see how beautiful that thing is? Look it looks sexy. It looks sexy. All right, boys. Well, uh, until next time, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching, and uh, let's get this thing primered.